person. So, first of all, thank you for attending my presentation. And, well, my presentation most possibly is going to be an expansion of the last presenter. My name is Nadila Rukigari. I'm currently a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Florida. And I will be an assistant prof at Virginia Tech in a month. Uh, today, I'm going to present the initial steps of our research toward providing a taxonomy of cyber-physical systems in construction. So, here is the agenda of what I'm going to go through during my presentation. First, I'm going to talk about the pressing need in construction industry and how I believe cyber-physical systems can help address those needs and the motivation for this research, and we'll continue with how cyber-physical systems is being used in other industries versus how it is currently used in construction and how it needs to be used in construction, and we'll wrap up my presentation with concluding remarks. Well, all of us agree that we need more automation in our construction projects. We, our projects are currently not only tremendously over time and budget, but also we are facing safety hazards and many other problems just because the right information is not available at the right time, at the right place. <coughs> and so we need to improve information handling in our construction job site between construction job sites and project offices so that we can fill the gap that we already have between our design model and what is actually being done in the construction job site. That will require integration of all the components, physical and cyber components, that we have in our construction job site, which will also enable them to have real-time bidirectional communication so they can talk to each other. We don't need to do anything. They would talk to each other and they would do what they need to do. That is why I feel cyber-physical system can greatly help to address those challenges. The, I, well, first as an introduction to cyber-physical system, it is a new discipline that is presented at the intersection of physical engineering and information sciences. It allows integration of all cyber and physical components of a system at all scales. That means that every physical component of a system has embedded communication and com uh, computation within itself. And every physical operation is automatically monitored and controlled by a communication and computation core. So that helps in having real-time bidirectional communication and coordination, which directly results in having adding more intelligence and more capabilities to the physical components that we have in the system. I keep talking about physical and cyber components, what these are. Physical components are network of devices that are doing things, so they perform actions. And also physical phenomena that need to be monitored and controlled. So all of these are considered as physical components of a system. Versus cyber components, which are virtual representations of those physical components, and also the information and knowledge that we need to be transferred within the system, as well as any embedded comp computation that we have within those uh, physical components. So translating it into construction, we need all the physical components in our job sites, any kind of job site, not only building, in our heavy construction, in our bridges, anything, to be completely integrated with their virtual model, with their virtual counterparts. And we need the, the information to be transfer transferred automatically, not only from the physical world, physical job site, to the virtual model, but also the other way around. And we need that all to be in real time. So we need really to have a bidirectional communication. And it's not only between the physical component 
and the virtual or cyber component, but also within the physical components themselves. They need to talk to each other. They need to know how to behave. Well, behave is more personal, but they need to be able to interact with each other. So, although cyber physical systems can greatly help in improving our construction project, still we do not have unifying concepts and terminologies for use of cyber physical systems in construction. There are still a lot of challenges that need to be answered. So, the aim of this, re this research was to provide sufficient insight into cyber physical concepts and how it can be used, how the the challenges that we already have and how they can be addressed to be used in construction, as well as current and potential applications that we have for cyber physical systems in construction. Well, first, let's start with how cyber physical system is already being used, and it has been used for a while in other industries. So in aerospace, we already have automatic aviation system. So airplanes are already being oper operating automatically, they don't need us. In agriculture, we have production process processes and data management system that, that are already automated. <coughs> in healthcare, we have network medical devices and healthcare information network. So they are already operating, and maybe the best application of cyber physical system would be in transportation where we have intelligent transportation systems, connected vehicles, autonomous vehicles, that can communicate with each other and with their surrounding infrastructure. They don't need us to communicate. So that, that is where construction needs to move to. And of course, yes, your idea is ambitious, but I strongly believe it is not impossible. So, Use of cyber physical systems is fairly new to construction, but there are a number of approaches that are presented to automate what we already have in construction and to enable real-time communication with the construction job site. However, cyber physical systems, I believe, can be used in all the phases of a construction project, from very initial pre-construction phase and feasibility study into construction and post-construction phase. However, in the very few cyber-physical system applications that we have in construction, pre-construction phase is not taken into account, but that is a good area to work on because it can give us a good overview of the project that we have in hand before even we start doing anything. So the application, the current applications that I'm gonna present are going to mainly fall into construction and post-construction phases. As you can see here, so these are mainly the current applications that are presented in the literature, which are based on planning and construction. And planning here is the inherent planning during construction, not the pre-construction planning phase. And also operation and maintenance phase. So in planning and construction phase, they mainly focus on major areas of, areas of concern, which are progress monitoring, safety management. Also, we have applications for temporary structures that we have on job sites and heavy construction. Whereas for operation and maintenance, we have facility, some applications for facility and infrastructure management, energy efficiency, and health monitoring of the built facility. So for planning and construction phase, well, as we all know, our first purpose is to keep our project within time and budget. So the first thing would be to monitor the progress, the actual progress that we have on, on the job site. But however, we still have logistical challenges in obtaining a real-time overview of what is actually being done on the job site. And as a result of that, we have we are facing delayed and suboptimal decision making by project crew because they do not have an overview of what is actually being happened. As a result, the use of cyber, actually the methods that use cyber physical system try to avoid those problems to meet 
to use cyber physical system and meet key project performance indicators such as cost, time, and productivity. In addition, for safety management, we should all agree that we are one of the poorest industries in terms of health and safety. There are approaches being presented for improving real-time safety in construction job sites that usually try to improve workers' uh, situational awareness, but still there is a long way ahead. We need to improve. We need to give the resources, the information they need automatically so that they would know, they would know what to do at the right time in the right, right location. So use of cyber physical system can not only use, be used for predicting hazard before construction and during construction, but also can minimize the negative impact of the hazard that already happened on the job site. Okay. Also, we have some applications of cyber physical system for heavy construction projects, which are more highly equipment intensive projects, which are spread over miles. As a result, they face greater risk in terms of their schedule and financial, uh, financial aspect. So, we can use cyber physical system to have more real-time dynamic capture of that intensive data from the job from the facility, the, the job site, and then use analyze and communicate that big data into right persons at the right time. In the operation and maintenance phase, on the other hand, it has been used for facility and infrastructure management. So yes, it is possible to have facilities, build facilities that can communicate with each other, but the information that is already collected from our facilities is either not sufficient or it is very fragmented. So we need to have a system that can acquire data from the facility and transfer it wherever it should go autonomously and automatically. And it can help in improving maintenance management, communication, and, and being prepared for anything that might happen in the future. Other applications are also presented for improving energy efficiency and monitoring health of the built facilities. And also some people like Dr. Vijay Gerber added social aspect into cyber physical systems and named it cyber physical social system, if I'm right, right? So, it is all possible, just we need to have the means to do that. So in conclusion, I can say that effective integration of cyber physical system into our very slow to change construction industry is not a simple task, we all know that. But we need to get there. So we, the first challenges that we already face is First of all, system integration and the fact that we do not have enough uh, theoretical foundation for use of cyber physical system in construction. However, if we do that, we can achieve highly flexible system or highly flexible construction project that can, uh, can be adjusted and modified based on what is happening in real time. And by that, we can go beyond experimentation and use cyber physical system as a more practical and useful tool to improve our construction industry in general. And with that, I will thank you for attending again and will welcome any questions. Thank you so much. Well, I already
already used it for improving progress mining.